What is up everybody, my name is Grandma Free, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Redstone Crap. Now, some of you might be wondering where I am. Well, this is Spawn. Um, yeah, I know, it changed a lot. Uh, but I actually did record an intro before I did this, which was madness, by the way. Um, sadly, the video file got corrupted, and that was three days ago. So today, when I was opening the intro to see where I left you guys, I realized the file was corrupted. And I blame OBS for it. Anyway, um, I've been working tirelessly here. I mined this all with uh, iron tools, which was boring. I've never mined a spawn chunk of iron tools. Don't intend to do it again either. This is enough for my head. And we now have a plane going ahead. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, the spawn chunks, for those who don't know, are a group of 12 by 12 chunks in your world that is always loaded. You can find them by following a compass. It's naturally around 0, 0 or close. Um, if you follow a compass in your world, it will point you to the border of four chunks. By the way, I open chunk borders with every G. So, yeah. Uh, and my compass pointed here, and these are the four centered chunks, I guess. And then there's six, counting that one, so two, three, four, five, and six, there we go, and same thing all around, so this will be 12 by 12. Um, now I've lit this up just so mobs aren't spawning around here, because this is a pretty flat surface, you know. Um, and uh, I've rec I recorded, what, 30 minutes of this, I think, uh, which I'm going to put in time-lapse time mode here. I don't know how long it's going to be, it's probably going to be like five minutes Probably not more, I don't think I want more than five minutes of me breaking blocks. Because this was a really boring, uh, boring and tedious task. But it had to be done, so I did it. Anyway, cue in the time lapse.
Okay guys, so with the time lapse out of the way, we're gonna get to building the actual farm. Now this farm is a design by DocM77 on YouTube, and um, first thing we're gonna do is pull ourselves a little bit up. So this is four blocks, and then pull yourself up 20 blocks, right? So I've already counted, I'm not counting right now. That's why. Um, and right here, I am going to put my first collection chamber. Now, the farms that I saw online were all very um, simple, I guess. Uh, not that it's a bad thing, but they were pretty simple. So what we're gonna have here is a more complex design with several different farms. Uh, so instead of just one, we're gonna have a lot more than one. And um, I need to count 16 blocks. I hope I it's 16 blocks. Not too sure. One, two, three, four, five. Then so five. Uh, so two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, 16 blocks. Um. So four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all right. So these are two water streams, and um, then we're actually gonna sleep because I don't want mobs to start sp spawning anywhere. Okay, I can, I'm gonna fall off when I wake up. I can almost bet on it, or never mind, maybe not. Anyway, with that done, we're now gonna go around, See daisies. Uh, here we go, and repeat this, and then we're gonna pull up walls on the sides of these. And uh, the reason why is our golems are gonna spawn on each of the farms, are gonna fall down to here, and then they're gonna be funneled down there. And yeah, it's I guess a complex system for a very easy task. Um, anyway, it's 16 blocks on every direction. I'm uh, actually no, sorry. 16 blocks in two directions, whatever they are. These farms are not directional base. I'm just doing it like this because I think it's better. But yeah. <sighs> okay, so I'm just, did I pull 16? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. So once this is pulled, um, I'm going to bridge this. Uh, I'm just going to pull up the walls now um, and build the basic structure. This is just a, a holding chamber. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so I actually need to go grab glass and a couple other materials. So once I have the holding chamber built, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> this ended up being ah, a lot harder to make. Um, it's also been running for a while because um, I've been doing, you can see the amount of golems. Um, so yeah, uh, this ended up being a lot harder to make in survival than I previously planned. So me explaining it while building it was really confusing and is still going to be confusing no matter how much I try, but I will try for you guys. Uh, this basic design is in Doc M's video. What I'm doing is basically replicating it. So I'm doing it here, then I'm gonna do it over there and over there and here. We're actually gonna build this one on camera. Um, but I am gonna let you guys take a look. I can't actually put solid blocks there and I don't want to waste glass. So you can see the villagers are in this sort of chamber thing. And um, this chamber is very similar to the one on our villager breeder. It has, uh, except this one has workstations. Which are smokers, by the way. Because I decided it was a smarter idea to use blocks like smokers. Um, in addition to this, you can see a zombie in there. That zombie actually has a name. Uh, it's Zombier, I think. Um, and there's a reason why this is like this. <clears throat> DocM does put it very well in his video, but I'm gonna try my best to explain it to you guys. Basically, there's two ways of producing iron in this version. One is by gossip, uh, but you need a lot of villagers to make a gossip farm actually efficient. The second one is by scaring the villagers. Now, you can see that that zombie behind me will Eventually, if I um, 
do that. We'll eventually look at a village. It's currently locked on me, but if I walk away and away from him, see, you still gonna look at me? Can I block your view? See, there you go. He's looking at the villagers. So he's gonna attack the villagers, and the villagers will eventually trade glances with him. And uh, when that happens, the villagers will be scared, and they will check for iron columns. Now, currently, I have this guy here. Uh, that's because this farm is sort of... They're getting stuck on this block, so I might need to add a few more blocks out this way, just to be sure. Um, but the farm itself is this module, and that's what matters. Now, the the villagers are clear, 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 carefully placed. I swear I can speak. Uh, so that they only sometimes trade looks with the... Um, Zombie, and you can see that when the villager is scared, that that guy just went to bed, and he's gonna pop out because of the zombie. Uh, he's gonna detect the zombie, be scared, and produce an iron golf. Right now, this guy's sort of ruining the spawns, but he'll leave soon. Um, and yeah, basically this farm works because villagers have not have working times, sleeping times, talking times, and uh, when they're scared, they produce columns. And there's a bunch of them. That that, that is genuine. I don't know how I'm gonna kill those guys. Because I, I hit one of these and I was one shot by them. Anyway, the farm is pretty simple. This is, uh, you only need a 5x5. Five five, so, you know, this square here, uh, this platform is bigger. You can build it like this. But I will give you a piece of advice. These blocks here have to be spawn proof. So I've used string because, oh, that's my axe. I thought that was the smartest decision. But you guys can just, for example, put glass blocks here and they won't spawn on. Uh, just make sure Iron Golems can't spawn on those blocks. Once that's done, you're good, and you can come down here. <clears throat> now, in the center of your 5x5, five five, you're going to place a trapdoor, closed preferably, and a cauldron. Now, this is important, once again, because of the line of sight. The line of sight is incredibly important for this farm, because it's going to mean the villagers are sometimes scared and sometimes not. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> I am going to sleep, because I've proven the sleep uh, the thing there. Um, you can see there I was killed by a golem. <laughs> anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is going to be the start of the first bet. So I'm going to place a block there, place you there, and then I'm going to place these two on the sides. I'm using white beds because that's the cheap I found. You can use whatever color bed you want. Over there, they're pretty bright colored. Um, and yeah, once you got that, then you place... A solid block in the middle, a trap door right there. This trap door is going to be waterlogged. I, don't, I just realized I don't have enough water. Now, there's a reason why we're, I'm going to do this like this, and Doc M explains it in his video. Uh, there was, a, I guess, a change in how villagers pathfind towards the workstation, and um. If uh, to just put it at, put it simply, they were. How can I put this? Uh, right, I forgot. Trapdoors are annoying. Place. Um, they couldn't. If you put the other workstation there, they simply wouldn't pathfind towards it, and that's an issue. So yeah, you have to put this one down here and these two there, and then you can do this. And once this is done, you get a carpet, which I also have here, and whoops, place it there. This is also going to have to do with um, the villagers looking at the zombie and all that. And I've gone ahead and placed a, a slab on top of him. And I actually have to do that here because... No, I don't want to sleep. Because um, villagers can be hit by lightning and turn into witches. And that sort of ruins the farm. Uh, so with that done, we have our... Um, I can just waterlog... I just, I'm going to need to remove that slab. I can just waterlog this. There we go. Remove those blocks. And we have a chamber built. Now, I'm going to need to go grab more villagers because the ones I had at standby are on that chamber. But yeah, um, I'm not really going to build this. It's exactly the same except inverted. Uh, distance is the same. And just a little thing so you guys know, each villager box thingy has to be 10 blocks apart. So these are uh, about 11. These are 12 apart, so yeah, you can just base yourself on that if you want to do what I'm doing, just replicate it. Basically what I'm doing is replicating this by 4, 
I, I swear I can do math. But the structure is just like this, then replicate it on this side, get a zombie, and you can get a pillager in here, but you might risk yourself getting a crossbow crossbowman and just having him kill the others. Uh, you can try an evoker or um, yeah, all that stuff, but I don't want to get vexed in my face. I can turn off the hitboxes. So a zombie is just a safe bet. But you can play around with it, and there are some great videos out there. I'll leave Docam's video and El Mango's video down in the description. I searched around for a while because, you know, Tango Tech hasn't done a farm yet. He is, for those who don't know, he's the designer of the Iron Titan, the Iron Phoenix, and hence on, hence forward. Uh, I'm sure he'll put a video out soon, and I will be really happy to replicate his farm. I also put a video by El Mango with a crazy farm design that he did for one of the 114 for pre's, pre-releases that is. Um, and yeah, those are sort of the videos I base myself on. And uh, if you guys want to go crazy, do go crazy and share your designs with me. I, if, you, if I find a really good design, I will happily reproduce it here. I'll also leave, um, if I can find it, because the, uh, the only YouTuber I know that has made a design based on gossip is a Brazilian YouTuber, and that means the video is in Portuguese, and some of you won't understand it. So, but the farm is by El Mango. So I'll try finding a design that works um, and is related to that, if you guys want to do that. You know, it's a little less efficient, and you need a lot of villagers. For example, I needed 80 villagers for that design. This one, so 6, 12, 24. Um, yeah, 24 villagers compared to 80, and this produces like, I think it's 500 iron per hour. It, it's probably a lot more. I want to zoom in. It, it's probably a lot more than that. Don't, don't trust my guts. But yeah, I'm going to finish building this, and um, I'll get back to you once the entire structure is oh, dear God, done, because this is going to be a pain in the ass, and getting villagers up here is also going to be a pain in the ass. I have rails down there on those chests, but... It's gonna be annoying. Ugh, you can see the sand tower as well from when the golem killed me. Anyway, I'm gonna get this done and um, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so after what has been a tremendous amount of time, I have um, put this, replicated this four times. I could have done this a few more, but I think this should be enough. Um, why are you, okay, they're stuck on each other. That's not good. Well, they'll eventually make their way down. Anyway. This has been running for a little while. I had some issues with the zombies. Um, they despawn, so I have to re-get that zombie over there, I think. But anyway, they don't seem to be despawning anymore. I've gone through the nether, back home, dumped all my stuff, and came back. And this is working still, so yay. And it doesn't actually look half bad. I was worried it would look a little bad, but it looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, I know this was a semi-short episode, I'm actually not sure how big the episode is, but the farm took, you guys didn't see it, but it took weeks, uh, sorry, days, it took three days, legitimately, to build this. I've been building another farm for weeks, but that's on another survival, and we'll get there when we get there, and it's definitely not before I have a beacon, because I refuse to build that farm without a beacon, seriously, it's not happening. This one, I, I, I don't mind mining a couple thousand blocks. By the way, this is filled with sand. I don't even know if I showed you. This is the only thing I actually collected because the sand is going to be useful for a few projects in the near future, if, if you guys catch what I mean. Uh, maybe some of you know that I like to build a certain project using sand. <coughs> okay, anyway, uh, yeah, all the other blocks just went to crap. I really wasn't bothered to pick up a couple thousand stone. Um, and most of the dirt just went back into this, um, and I have dirt and stone at the base, of course. Anyway, yeah, and I, I managed to actually keep some villagers in that village on the back, but it's like one or two, so I might kill them off and remove the village, because it's sort of an eyesore. It's very orange. Anyway, uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna play around a little bit. I still have got a few things to do, and hopefully the iron keeps producing. This already has a stack of five. This has a stack in 20. We're doing good. Um, this isn't uh, like the walking backwards is hard. Uh, okay. Like, this isn't uh, Iron Titan levels of madness, but it's decent. 
enough for a single player world where although I have big aspirations I don't really need that much iron. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed if you did, make sure to hit that button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, I'll see you in the next video for yet another farm. I'm out. Peace!